It is Elijah Muse here with Gifted Hands Music, and I have an exciting breakdown for you today. So we're going to be breaking down a version of It Is Well With My Soul. This traditional hymn, we're uh, breaking down the Jaden Baker. Jaden Baker is a fantastic musician. He's only like 14 years old, I think. And he just, him and his father actually are both playing in the video. And their approach to It Is Well is just killer. So I had to break it down for you all. So we are going to be talking about three main concepts that we can take from this video and apply to our playing as a whole and apply to any song from any genre that you might play or that you might have in your repertoire, all right? Now, if you want the full breakdown, the full video of what they're doing note for note, make sure to check out Gifted Hands Academy. Just click the link down in the description box and you'll get more information on how you can get access to the full video that is inside of our Gifted Hands Academy. So if you join Gifted Hands Academy, you'll get full access to this lesson, which includes a MIDI file for this breakdown, lesson notes, as well as the note for note breakdown of what exactly is going on in this song. And then you also get access to a full archive of lessons that we have spanning from gospel songs, um, jazz, neo soul breakdowns, theory lessons, and we also do monthly live calls inside of our academy. We just had one last night. That was fantastic. A lot of people came out and we were talking about runs and licks. All right, so there's a bunch of things going on inside of the academy. So just make sure you check that out. And as well, just hit the like button, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, share this channel with a fellow friend, family member, or fellow musician, all right? Let's get into this lesson. So this version of It Is Well is going to be in the key of D flat major. So our scale for D flat major is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So there's only two white notes in D flat major, which is F and C, okay? Everything else is black notes. So the very first thing that I recognized and was able to learn from this version of It Is Well was the use of drop two voicings and combining that with the use of inversions. So what do I mean here? Let's let's kind of just play through this a little bit, right? Let's let's take it from the top. All right, so right here. All of those are like drop two voicings. And it's and, and it's amazing that the way that they voice that because they use the drop two voicings and we're able to still keep the melody line in there by keeping the melody line um, on top. This top note of every chord is the melody line. All right, so let's see what we got here. So the very first way they use the drop two voicing is in like just at the very beginning of the song. When peace, like and then, so this is what we have. We're using like a, a A flat diminished chord, diminished seven, and we're playing it in drop two voicing. So I'm taking this B out or C flat. This is the chord, right? I'm dropping this D down into the bass. So drop two, if you don't know what that means, just means I'm taking the I'm taking a chord in my right hand. I'm taking the second highest note from the top. So F is the highest note. The second highest note is D. I'm taking that and I'm putting it in the bass, or I'm dropping it down an octave, okay? So that is drop two voicing. But the way he voiced it, he took out this B. So we really only have these three notes, all right? So that leaves us, and then all I'm doing is inverting it. So I'm playing this chord, then this chord, right? So that's here, and then there, because this B diminished seven chord, I'm taking the F, the second highest note from the top, and I drop it down an octave. All right, so that's the same chord, just inverted. And then we go to 
E flat minor seven. And that E flat minor seven is also in drop two. Why? Because this is my E flat minor seven chord, the two chord, right? But he inverted it because we wanted the melody line on top. So it's inverted. And the second highest note is E flat. I dropped that, put it in the bass. And then we invert it again. E flat minor seven to E flat minor seven. This is still E flat minor seven, just an inverted E flat minor seven chord, okay? Two chord. So, and then to the five. All right, so that's the first way they use drop two voices. So let's move on. Let's see if there's anywhere else in this song that they're using drop two voices. So near the very end of the song, uh, when Jaden's playing, he does something like this. All right, so that whole movement is all drop two voicings. It's crazy, right? It sounds insane what he's doing. But it's just a bunch of drop two voicings like compiled together. So let me just break down what, what that is real quick. So that's just essentially a G flat major seven chord, um, which is a four chord, right? So uh, that's in drop two, here's drop two. Remember, just take the second note from the top, drop it down to octave, and then, so four, this is my two chord, which is E flat minor seven and drop two. All right, that's this, E flat minor, take the B flat, the second note from the top, drop it in the bass. And then I just invert the E flat minor and make it in drop two, all right? So that's, and then we have the one chord in drop two. So D flat is the one, he added the ninth. So this is essentially the chord I'm playing. I just take the F and I drop it down in the bass. And then we have a diminished chord in drop two, E flat diminished, seven, D diminished seven, drop two. And then we have our four chord again, G flat major seven in drop two. And then we just move from here to here. And we have this real funky chord right here. All right. All right, and then that's the second or the third way that they use drop two voicings. There's a bunch of other there's a bunch of other instances where they use drop two voicings in this song, um, but just check out the full version if you want to see all of the places where they use drop two voicings in. So the second thing I learned from this version of it as well is the use of tritone substitutions. All right. So if you don't know what tritone substitutions are, tritone substitutions are simply you're taking a chord, right? So let's say the five chord. We take the five chord, an A flat seven chord. We take this, and instead of playing this, we substitute it for another chord. So it's a tritone substitution. So we're substituting this chord for a chord that's a tritone away. A tritone is simply three whole steps away. So that's one whole step, two whole steps, three whole steps. So from A flat to D is a tritone. So we're substituting the A flat chord for a D chord. And since this is dominant, we're gonna make the D chord dominant, all right? So that would be like E flat minor seven, the two chord, our tritone substitution to the one. So instead of doing two, five, one, I could do two, five, one, or two, Five, or a five tritone substitution, which is D to the one, all right? That's the, the basis of tritone substitutions. And uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into that today, but that's just a simple explanation for it. So I wanna give you one instance uh, where they're using tritone substitutions in this, um, in this version of it as well, all right? So that's gonna be where Jaden's playing. Um, let's, let's look at it. So right there, right? So we're here, we're on the one. This is the one chord. Then he does a seven, three, 
six. But he doesn't do that. He does. He does one, seven, flat seven, six. So that's an instance of tritone substitution. Why? You might ask him because if we're going from one, the normal progression is seven, three, six, right? But he didn't do that. He played seven, three, or he did, sorry, he did seven, flat seven, which is a B or a C flat chord. He played it as a dominant chord. So how did he know how to play that? Tritone substitutions. So instead of playing the three, which is F, he found a chord that is a tritone away. Remember, three whole steps away. You can go up or down, it doesn't matter. It'll be the same thing. So three whole steps from F is one whole step, two whole steps. B or C flat is three whole steps away. So C and F, or sorry, B and F are tritones, meaning I can substitute an F chord, the three chord, for this B. All right, so that's what we did. One, seven, Flat seven or the tritone substitution for the three chord to the six. All right, so that's just one instance where they're using tritone substitutions. There's a bunch of other instances as well. Like I said, check out the full breakdown if you want to see the other instances where they're using tritone substitutions. But that's where I'm going to leave it for today. All right, so the third lesson or the third thing that I learned from this breakdown is going to be the use of orchestration. The use of orchestration goes all throughout. And you may be wondering, what exactly is orchestration, Elijah? I'm glad you asked. So orchestration just means that instead of playing chords all together, when like instead of playing them all together, playing all the notes at the same time, we're kind of arpeggiating and we're we're breaking up the monotony of playing the chord all together. So, look what I mean. So as soon as the video begins, really, or when the melody line comes in, in peace, that's a basic D flat chord, right? But instead of playing a basic D flat chord, um, Jaden's dad, the piano player, he broke it up and this sounds much more interesting and it fills up more space right than just playing wind peace so you can use this technique in any song wind peace so first he rolled up he's playing the melody line on top right so if you want to improve your playing always play the melody line on the top keep that melody line as the highest note okay wind peace so we roll to the A flat from the G flat. Wind peace. And then I'm playing one, five, three, and five. Wind peace. That's orchestration. All right, that extends your harmony and extends um, your chords and it fills up dead space. Like a So there's another place. That's just a basic B flat minor chord, right? But what did what did they do? Well, first off, they kind of embellished the melody line as well. They did. We got that little lick right there, right? We have that lick, which is just um, when peace like a river. So it's just really a lick that brings us into the melody line again. So that's just F, G flat, F, E, F, all half steps. And then I roll up to the D flat from the B. And then I'm arpeggiating that B flat minor chord. When I hit the D flat, I hit the B as well. B flat, F, so root, fifth, and then I play the chord again, an octave higher. Then he does it on the two chord. The two is E flat minor, but we're playing it as like an E flat sus. So, 
root, fifth, chord together. All right, that's orchestration. And then even here, instead of automatically resolving to the five, so two, most people would go straight to the five. Instead of doing that, he hit the melody by itself, that top note, and then, and then filled in the rest of the chord, all right? So let's look, let's see where else there's some orchestration. I'll give you one more example, okay? So yeah, let's let's look right there. Uh, we have this seven, so one, seven, tritone substitution, and then to the six, right? So that's like a some type of seven three six. One, seven, sub so substitution for the si three to the six. So when we hit to the six, it's a B flat minor chord. But what happens? I just hit the root and the third of my B flat minor instead of hitting the whole chord. So, and then I fill it in the rest of the notes of the chord. You see that? And that just adds some more elements to your playing, right? It adds more depth to your playing. So, so I do it on the six to the five. In here we keep going all right so that is just another example of orchestration like I said if you want every single thing that's done in this video if you want the full breakdown of what's going on in this version of it as well with Jaden Baker make sure you check out join gifted hands Academy just click the link in the description below and you'll get all the information you need on the Academy um, until next time though I hope you all got something from this lesson I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all very very soon